hiccups. One of those involuntary body things that can leap out on you when you least expect it. Like when you're drinking something fizzy. Or getting excited. Yes! Even when there's a change in temperature. Or eating spicy food. <laughs> it's okay, it's not real. For me, it's spicy food, but what makes us hiccup can be pretty random. So what can we do about it? First, what actually happens when we hiccup? Hiccups are described as a form of reflex motor activity. So we, when we say reflex, we mean things like if you tap your knee with a hammer and your um, leg flies up. And all reflexes, they have, um, they're like a circle. So you have information coming in and that causes the muscle to contract. So one of the interesting thing about, things about hiccups is that we understand quite well the outwards part of the reflex. So we understand what, what muscles contract. So it's the diaphragm, but some other muscles um, as well in, in the chest wall. But actually what triggers that is much less well understood. More from Kim in a minute on her research that connects hiccups with baby development. There's a host of age-old remedies you can try that do work for some people. They include pull your knees up to your chest and lean forward. Sip ice cold water, swallow some granulated sugar, hold your breath for a short time, bite on a lemon or taste vinegar. There is one technique that's been medically proven to work, a digital rectal massage. And no, it's not a phone app. Published in a medical paper in 1988 by Dr. Francis M. Fesmeyer of the University of Tennessee College of Medicine, he recounts how a man came into his emergency room complaining that he'd been hiccuping for 72 hours. After methods such as making him gag and compressing his eyeballs failed to work, Dr. Fesmeyer then remembered reading about a case where a digital rectal massage, inserting a finger into a patient's bottom, had slowed someone's racing heartbeat, an effect similar to prolonged hiccups. It worked, and the rest is medical history. In fact, sex, leading to an orgasm, has a similar and possibly more enjoyable effect. But there's still some mystery around why humans hiccup in the first place. Back to Dr. Kim Whitehead. When I was working at UCL um, in Lorenzo Fabrizzi's team, I was actually working on a project about the sense of touch. So how does the sense of touch develop in babies? And I spent a lot of time by the cot side of babies, talking to their parents, working with the babies and doing my research studies. And what I noticed was this absolutely enormous amount of time that they spend hiccuping. And I would mention it to the parents and they would say, yeah, it's, it's, it's like phenomenal. And nobody else seemed to think it was of interest. And so because we were already recording these brain waves from the babies, it seemed a natural thing to just have a look. What, what does it do to their brain when they do have these hiccups? The team used EEG to look at the baby's brain waves using a sensor cap that sits comfortably on the head. The babies can even sleep while wearing it, while the researchers record brain activity changing millisecond by millisecond. We knew already that when babies move their limb muscles, when they move their arms and legs, we think it has a role in brain development because we see these special brain waves that we only see immediately after the, the movement in particular areas of the brain. And we think that relates to how they form a map of their body so that it helps them when they want to move around and um, when they grow up. Hiccups are just a contraction of our diaphragm muscle, but because the muscle is hidden, we don't tend to think of it like that. So the same thing, they evoke the special brain wave in a special part of the brain that we think has the same um, role. So instead of having a sense of where our limbs are moving, we also need to, need to have a sense of where the muscles inside our chest cavity are, because that helps us to understand that we have control over our own breathing. And maybe that is also a skill or a sense that is learned in infancy. Now, the stuff in this video isn't really intended as a substitute for the advice of a medical professional. Generally, hiccups are totally harmless, but if you're concerned by anything unusual, go and see your doctor. 